I am so glad to introduce to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Casada.
catch me if I was falling down on you.
tonight, Dr. Dream. Dr. Dream uses his voice and some little special effects to tell stories. So there's a little storyteller inside of each of our head, and she will do her best to help bring it out. So let's hear it for Dr. Dream and her sonic imaginorium. Yeah. Yeah. One person operation here. Rodies did not show up. Okay. No, I'm okay. Okay. Um, one of those weeks. Um, anyway, um, Anne, I don't know, where is Anne? Where is Anne? Yeah, Anne is my sister, and I normally don't start off like this, uh, what I do, but I did want to say that. Uh, <coughs> Yeah. So you showed up. Well, you can sit down here. <laughs> the spotlight's on me. <laughs> anyway, no, no, sit down, no, no because uh, a sibling rivalry. Oh, 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 twins, twins, twins. Yeah. Uh, anyway, she's. Uh, I came out to her finally as a transgendered woman. <laughs> the whole family. So that makes you the big sister or the little sister? I am the big sister. Okay. I am the big sister. There's well, three of us now. Wow. So I just thought I'd make and a little blind. announcement. And uh, okay, well, then, well there's that one with the plaid hair, but we won't go with that. <laughs> anyway, uh, but I, what I'd like to do, all right. Well, anyway, what I want to do, uh, I'd like to uh, start off with a little something that kind of, well, I know uh, Johnny likes this one, and uh, a lot of people like this particular piece. Well, I like so it. So you're uh, possibly, I have no idea, but we're going to go back in time. I usually like to go back in time. 
And going back in time, we're going back to 1969. And uh, fixing my uh, rebirth thing. So, uh, anyway, um, what I'd like to do is go back to 1969 and we're at Woodstock. Mm. And the crowd is there. And Jimmy comes up and he's playing his last number of the morning because it was like, you know, sunrise, you know, when he was gone there. And you're there, the last of the 300 or so thousand people that showed up. You're there in this body, Woodstock, in the mud and everything, and the muck and all this. And, <laughs> and he starts to play, he goes.
Yes, I'd like to take everyone's imaginations, collective imaginations in this room, and put you in the body of the same year, only you're now sitting in front of a manual typewriter. Yes, you're a woman writer being pressured by your editor to get your current work done, and you're having a rough time. You've gone through six months, and it's not happening. You went, it started out as a poem, then it became a novel, and now it's sort of a novelette. It's going into a novella, and pretty soon it'll probably be a graphic novel in the future. But at this rate, it's not happening, and you're, you're working on it. Fucking shit you've ever had in your life. Yeah. But at last, your partner is gone. The reality sets in. Where 
are you from? Uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, welcome to San Francisco. Yes. Nice. Kentucky here. Derby. So, uh, welcome to the breakfast cereal that is San kinda, Francisco. Kind of funny that California a Chrome one now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I love it. But anyway, so I'm going to play a couple of my originals for you. This first okay. one's called Bite Bit. This next one is called Game Ender. Game Ender. Game Stand up in that many times My friend, I understand A story 
So this song is called, uh, what's it? Stop! 
often forget harmonicas, but uh, um, I actually do have one that I can play on a harmonica song. <coughs> kind of harmonica song. This is called Gone Stray. These are all original.
So ladies and gentlemen, introducing to the stage another ukulele player. Hey all. Daniel Ames. It's funny, it's the longest time he always calls me Danny, but when I come here, here's Daniel. 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 Well, it's suddenly, yeah. it's that whole formal crap in my head. I, mean, that I do the same with my brother. I, I get my brother and my son's name confused. Dylan and Grant. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an Irish half-brother. So, okay. Not too much to do. Yeah. I had a request for a Spanish song. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Where is Marissa? Marsha. Marsha? Marissa. Maria. Maria. <laughs> Maria's already gone. She's right here. Yeah, but she's already done her thing tonight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, up next then will be E.G. Phillips. Sorry, E.G., I didn't give you enough time to get ready. Come on up here. Get ready on stage. <laughs> Dr. Natural, she was going to go to my place. I'm Mr. Natural, I know, but she's already been up here. What's more about it? Are you not Watched it through the sound window. 
neighborhood boy who walked the scutter, a delicate cardinal in the gutter, that made me cut it off its head and pluck out all its feathers. Mama make the red bird come back. 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 Mama can't make the red bird come back. Nobody can. You'll just have to be patient and hope one flies this way again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this guy I have known for quite a while now, and you will find him here in the Haight-Ashbury, in, in the doorways here and there, and everywhere. And his name is Step. Got it. One of the reasons I go around and tell you all that you're up next is so you can get ready. <laughs> it's always, just as I'm about to call someone, we find out that they went down the block somewhere to, to buy a battery or something. Anyway, so um, I will entertain you for just a moment. Uh, I told this story last week. I want to tell it again because I, I see uh, Ryan Kasada is here. But uh, recently, Ryan put his guitar in the back of one of his cars and went away, and when he came back, his guitar was stolen. So it reminded me of something that happened to me many years ago. I lived in New York City for a summer back in, I think it was 74, 75. They had a garbage strike. And during the garbage strike, uh, garbage was piling up in Manhattan. I don't know if you know, Manhattan is an island. And after about two months, I mean, the garbage out in front was literally a story and a half to two stories high everywhere in the city. So what I did is I was talking to my friend and he says, Natch, I have to get rid of my garbage. And nobody can get rid of their garbage. I don't know how to do this. And I said, listen, there's one thing you can count on in New York City, and that is a thief. So what we do is we'll take your garbage and we'll put it in a nice box and we'll cover it with some beautiful wrapping paper and we'll put a nice bow around it and we'll put it in the back seat of your car and we'll leave the back seat unlocked. Ladies and gentlemen, two hours that garbage is gone. Okay, the next day, my friend says, well, I can't do that again. And I said, yeah, you can. Just park the car down the block. This is New York. There's 8 million people. I'm sure there's more thieves than one. So he parks it down the block and the next day it's gone. And he does it again and again, and he did it every day for three weeks. And he was the only one in New York that had no garbage problem. <laughs> so there are things we can count on in life. <laughs> so I'd like to welcome to the stage here for your entertainment, my friend, Step. Step. Right. Sit back and enjoy. You need lights, <laughs> Yeah. I like a mic. Okay. I hosted an open mic for three years in uh, Keene, New Hampshire. And uh, why you can type Stephen Chim into your YouTube box and uh, find some of my work lately. My mom just got in town. Hey. Hey. So, hey. Nice. I'm really happy to welcome her to the show. 
Hopefully something for her. <laughs> She's busy now. And, uh, hoping, hoping, uh, we'll be hooking up in moments uh, or so. to write an ending, but uh, mm -hmm. um, you got the prize email. Uh, I did my first email blast. Week, so I'm not bringing really emails or something. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm on YouTube. And uh, so, and life is different now. Uh, it, you, it's fun to look at yourself mm -hmm. because uh, I think one of the reasons they put me on YouTube is because I look at myself uh, as well as other people. Um, and I, I confront, I, I, I do confrontations as performance art, I guess. And there's evidence of one on YouTube. This car sounds so nice, I don't want to talk about it. I still feel like I'm in prison all the time, so I want to go back to this. Uh, I want to go back to this uh, kind of religion. Kind of harsh. But it lets me express why I'm so angry all the time. Some people are suffering really bad, so the Americans can be so consumptive. Six by six, from wall to wall, bars in the window.
light blends your eyes, dropping leaves of surprise. Loaded questions from clean white coats. They're trying to make you crazy, it's the Hippocratic Oath. like it's conceptual he doesn't want to speak the word of the guy who killed John Lennon because that would give him what he wanted to kill John Lennon for fame so he, he kind of wishes that and I have so much respect for that concept you know but I can't do it and there is such thing as hate you know, I'm almost starting a campaign call the street over there hate love or something you know because there might be that the Ross is believing words sound power uh. <laughs> but it's, that's raga time I got, I got a minute I love you Ama yeah. and I'm sorry communication breakdown <laughs> yeah. man this got bad I made a mark. But I, tonight, you know, because I was telling about Mike Rupert, and he told me everybody's on their bucket list. Everybody should be on their bucket list. He's, you know, and rumors have been around since how long, but whatever. Right. And now Maya Angelo thinks, you know, I, I don't have a reason to be angry or different. And I know that there's fear behind the anger. I guess I'm, I'm too much of a poet or a literist to finish with a song tonight. It's been a big week. Um, but I'm going to do that anyhow. <laughs> it's basically the. Uh, <laughs>
Daryl Jones. Yeah. Woo. That doesn't thing. do anything here. Oh, <laughs> That's it. That's the one. show and they don't put that on TV. They only put fake reality shows. Right. Um, and, and I just wanted to say one thing. Mr. George Lucas, I have a message for you and I haven't written it, but this bird flew down the chimney when I was singing songs to you 30 years ago and you said, that's going to be good luck. Well, without What's the song about without bad luck? Like I wouldn't have had no luck at all. Right, Just right, right. about, you know? I mean, we're crashed here. I feel like I'm, you know, in Mao Zedong's tongue's famine, you right. know? We're, we're just at the bottom, and where's the brothers? Where's the sisters? Where's the soul? Come on, guys. You know, let's rock and roll. And I want to say something to Howard Shore who has two Oscars, you know, and, and did Saturday Night Live, original Saturday Night Live. Um, I was babysitting for May at the time, and, you know, I can sing now, well, except that my bell got stolen, not from the car, but, so, here we are, you know. Where are you guys? Come on, we're ready, we're waiting. Yay. Anyway, so I'm going to try to sing about bells, and I wallpaper my stuff. And I just wanted to say this piece, nobody understands my screech, but when I lost my home, from the first thought, I um, raid, and I had brain damage. I'd been driven to the street, and then I was suing the police for breaking my back, so I got hit by a car 35 miles an hour. Masonic and, um, Masonic and, uh, Page. And, um, so I woke up three days later and the first question, what insurance do you have? And then, oh, you've been hit. You have three holes in your head and a 12 inch chunk. And so now I'm supposed to be enslaved. This is the deal in our society with this capitalism in our universities and the whole voting process. And it's not right, it's not American. You haven't got a right in the world and I'm tired of the stomping. So anyway, here's some my poetry and singing and and um, when I screech out this is my mover his name's Jesse James and he's moved me for um, 18 years and we used to start off with you know a 24 footer and it be loaded up with all this you know musical instruments and things but well there's a saying in the uh, Asian art library if uh, uh, those who um, spend, I don't know, buy what they don't need, will air along lose what they need. So, anyway, we're, we're narrowing it down, but yeah, just, um, come on guys, we're ready. Here, here's some of the stuff, and I have to struggle up here because I'm a dancer, and I, and I need one of those, you know, um, dancing mic situations. So guys, we're ready, here we go. Um, I'm going to try to stay still and try to interpret some of these poems. One of which is new and um, not so uplifting and I, I can't decide if I want to go uplifting or what. Anyway, here we go. My new one. Never been done. Oh, and it's all printed out. I did this. Me, myself, and I at the computer. That was big. Real big. Um, oh. 
He wanted to make me a mother, a regular guy would do. Well, baby, I can hang upon your love's cross for you. I am yet again the kingfisher slicing through icy waters, furnishing morsels from my gracious lord. Uh, I would care, noble fisherwoman, for the enlightening means to fill the cracks. The needed aid for dormant genes, muscles, nerve cells, and cell space. Eat and drink. Now is not the time for temperance. The steady transforming Earth's nutrients and mighty rivers whispered thunder. The tree producing coconut flesh and water. Swings the music of the wind, refining and producing. O oh, radiant one, I'm held in your capable hands at the crossroads, a kaleidoscope of colors and shapes. America, man on the moon. graduation speech, if there were such things as girls' schools. But here we go. The difficult situation, uh, I'm prim and proper. The difficult situation for women in today's society computes to get serious about yourself, knowledge to action. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. When the going gets tough, the top get going. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Women are handicapped enough, so don't become caught up in suppression. Don't do rocked along in double standard sabotaging pettiness, dragged down with guilt, fears, resentments. Get instead into surviving to winning consciousness, pursuing growing in peace and love. Get serious as a hound dog going after the rabbit prize. Look steadfastly for prizes. Sniff out sham. A spy and grasp and hold on to opportunity. Feed your soul. Light the light of you. Don't hide your light. Seek the conscious. 
conscious, lighthearted, generous people and make yourself your little responsible, high self-esteem, seed planting, skilled self an arrow into their lives and hearts. Laughing, sharing, living and dying just for you, just for you. Be aware, see the wind chanting spirit there, is that vein, haters, spreading bad demands, demonic, masked people. So practice meditation to gain insight, learning from failures to be conscious, cautious, prepared with big picture holes. Be David Sling, nailing Goliath with reality factors ensconced in well-being and cheered on one step at a time forward. In the big picture of you, hero in your heroic future, I'm damn sure you don't see short-changed, broke, and miserable. So I say, take back your power and scream out, show me the money. <laughs> money you've got Lots of friends who cried round the door. Now you've gone spending it, and they don't go no more. Rich relations here. Press the frame, like George Lucas, all these great guys coming forward. But God bless the child. Who's got your own? Who's got her own? Thank you, Chris. Carol Jones. Carol Jones. Thank you all for coming. I ask that you, uh, on the way out, you uh, bust your table and clean up and help Teddy pull the whole thing together. And we will see you again here next week, same time, same station. So I'm thankful for your smile. I'm thankful for your wink, that little twinkle in your eye. I'm thankful for the music in your soul. When I'm feeling incomplete, you make me whole. I thank you for your touch. You see the little things you do to me that always mean so much. Like being here and always being true. For this and so much more, I thank you. I'm thankful for your fire. The passion of your spirit never ceases to inspire me. I'm thankful for this moment that we share and for a chance to let you all know I care. So if you feel like no one wants you, know that you're my lucky star. I want to say thanks for everyone coming out tonight and everything, but most importantly, I, I want to uh, thank the girl I met two days ago 
her name her name's Gigi and she is one of a kind and she's also known as Dr. Judy mm -hmm. and this has meant a lot to me and everything I know you know Gigi and this has meant a lot to me this whole two days I've been here in San Francisco I live in Ohio Pretty, yeah. thank you. <laughs> pretty cold in the winter, and watch your step on the ice. Uh, with that being said, you know I haven't seen my brother in a while, and it was a big deal to come out here at this time. And I just want to thank everyone here tonight, making me feel very, very welcomed, extremely welcomed. I mean. Yeah. I don't say things just to say them. <clears throat> um, <laughs> my brother, who I've always known, and now my sister, mm -hmm. who I've acquired now to know, um, will always be a huge part of my life, and that's why I'm out here. I traveled the 3,000 miles, I didn't care, I had the time, I had the money, and I wanted to do it. He wanted to talk to me, he wanted to see me, 